Hello, I'm Scott Patrick. Once again, devotion becomes deadly. Season three of Killer Relationship with Faith Jenkins is now playing on Oxygen on Dish. Former New York prosecutor and then host of Judge Faith and then Divorce Court returns for this new season of Killer Relationship. Faith will join us right here on Dish in just a moment. But first, here's a look at the new season of Killer Relationship. 911, what's your emergency? On this season of Killer Relationship, devotion becomes deadly. They got together and hit it off from the second they met. She fell in love with him hard. They were going to be together forever. They were your typical all-American couple. They really loved each other. My grandfather, he was such a loving person. Why would someone want him dead? He was killed by the person who was supposed to love him the most and should have appreciated him the most. I'm going to survive the shotgun and jail to the back of the head at point blank range. My sister's missing. Where is she? I could clearly see in the body. It was badly burned, appeared to be a female, pregnant. I love him with my whole heart. <laughs> Who would have done that to her? How did a person from Texas end up in Whiskey Bay in the water? Deceased. Tell me about the last time you saw mommy. The math ain't mathing. This is not adding up. I felt like I just lost a part of me. For the first time, I felt we're going to get you, you son of a bitch. People go from I do to I hope you die more often than you think. Killer Relationship is back. Killer Relationship with Faith Jenkins. New episodes only on Oxygen True Crime. And now the host of Killer Relationship with Faith Jenkins joins us right here on DISH. Hi, Scott. Hi, Faith. What a blessing to have you on DISH in the DISH studio. Uh, I've been following your career for so long. Uh, you've oh, had an amazing, you. fascinating career. Uh, if you could just tell us about what led you from prosecutor in New York to moving to divorce court and then meeting with Oxygen and saying, you know, I think I have a great idea for mm -hmm. you and me. You know what, Scott? It was just the different experiences from being in the prosecutor's office, having those domestic violence cases, and then also working in family court in New York, handling divorces and child custody. I com really combined all of that experience into one because I thought, what happens when divorce isn't enough for someone? When breaking up isn't enough, mm -hmm. going your separate ways isn't enough? What happens when that person chooses that someone else has to die? If I can't live with you, no one else will either. Wow. So that's how I came up with the idea for the show. And unfortunately, in doing our research, there were so many cases to choose from where this, mm -hmm. this happened, where you have these relationships that are built on love and trust, and in the end, someone commits the ultimate unimaginable mm -hmm. act. Right. So tell us what we're going to see in this new season. Uh, looking at the promo, we see the usual compelling stories of I do to I hope mm -hmm. you die. But this season, we're also seeing the impact of these cases mm -hmm on children. Yes, this season we do expand beyond just the spousal lover relationships this season. We do touch on other types of relationships, colleagues, co-workers, because it's really just the foundation of this show is just having that trust mm -hmm. in someone that right. you care about and having that foundational friendship. And then in the end, you know, these are not the perpetrators in these cases. They're not hardcore criminals. They are not people with really any criminal history at all. So that's what's that's what made watching these stories so intriguing, because how does someone go from not even having a traffic ticket to planning, premeditating, committing a murder and then the cover up and you're able to be then turn into an actor? because you're crying tears and you're out with people searching and looking for the, the person who they think is missing, but you know they're really dead. And so we, we take viewers through the highs and lows of all of the emotions that are involved in the case because we have the family and the friends that are speaking out and the viewers are really able to live through that experience through the eyes of the victim's family and friends. So true, uh, there's so much there. And uh, you're a mom, and I'm sure these cases this season have a huge impact on you as well. Uh, mm -hmm. One other thing about these cases, I know you make sure you have the family's blessing before you bring these cases to television. 
that's very important. We, we, we don't choose cases where we don't have the blessing from the family because I want to respect that someone's loved one has been taken away and they may not want to have that tragedy. They, want, they may not want to relive that tragedy on television. And I understand that. For me, as a new mom, mm -hmm. it's, it's a totally different perspective that I actually mm -hmm. didn't expect. I, I never really thought about this because I thought, wow, I want to protect my daughter from all hurt, harm, and danger for as long as I can. I want to keep her in this bubble. I want to keep her in this cocoon. I cannot imagine as a parent making a decision to take away her other parent sure. and the hurt that that would cause that child. So now when I look at these cases of parents who are killing their other parent, knowing their children, will, that will be that relationship, that person that they love the most will be taken away from their lives. It, 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 it adds a new level and a totally different perspective of the lengths that people are willing to go through to commit the most selfish uh -huh. and unimaginable acts. And, and then we go back into the why. A $300,000 life insurance mm -hmm. policy, is that, is that what this life is worth to you? For some mm -hmm. people it is. Your series is extremely popular. And I'm curious about your perspective as to why so many of us are really fascinated with mm -hmm. true crime stories. In fact, I have a few close friends who actually watch these shows as they're mm. going to bed each night. Yeah. And they say, oh, I slept really, really well after watching them. I think it's a safe way to look at the dark side of human nature. And you can do it from the comfort of your own home. And it also is a way for you to gain insight into the criminal mind. And if if the show if a show like ours where we really take people through the investigation because we choose cases where there's been a deeper level of investigation trying to figure out who did it, but because the family and friends not only know the victim, they also know the perpetrator, people are really able to get an insider's perspective into who these people were before this act was committed. And I think people find that really intriguing and fascinating. And the other thing, a really important point I wanna make, these stories involve mm -hmm. people that we see and, and interact with in our everyday lives in the community, high school teachers, professors, coaches, absolutely, uh, people in the clergy. So there's that element of it too. It's like, okay, well, you know, this could this could happen. This could happen in this sure. neighborhood. This could really happen anywhere. Well said. Well, thank you for a great interview and for all you do. Looking forward to this season of Killer Relationship. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> On this season of Killer Relationship, devotion becomes deadly. They got together and hit it off from the second they met. She fell in love with him hard. They were gonna to be together forever. They were your typical all-American couple. They really loved each other. My grandfather, he was such a loving person. Why would someone want him dead? He was killed by the person who was supposed to love him the most and should have appreciated him the most. I loved him with my whole heart. <laughs> who would have done that to her? How did a person from Texas end up in Whiskey Bay in the water, deceased? Tell me about the last time you saw mommy. The math ain't mathing. This is not adding up. I felt like I just lost a part of me. For the first time, I felt, we're gonna get you, you son of a bitch. People go from I do to I hope you die more often than you think. Killer Relationship is back. Killer Relationship with Faith Jenkins. New episodes, only on Oxygen True Crime. Killer Relationship with Faith Jenkins you can watch season three on Oxygen True Crime. Oxygen is channel 127 on DISH. I'm Scott Patrick.